Now, Mr. Katan, Tuniak Katan, I, I'd like you to tell us what specific initiatives are being launched by Indigenous people today to help increase climate ambition for mitigation and adaptation, and how can these help advance the goals of the Paris Agreement? Thank you. Mr. Secretary-General, Mr. Secretary-General, Excellencies, present here, good afternoon. I am Tutia Kartan of the Shuar people, and I come here on behalf of my brothers and sisters, indigenous peoples of the world. The indigenous people make up more than 400 million people, and we protect 80% of the world's biodiversity. And here we commit to working with all to address climate change with a focus based on human rights. Leading holistic plans to protect our diversity, our biocultural diversity, and ensure inclusion of those sectors which have been disenfranchised. Ensuring access to lands, territories, resources, free determination, and free previous and informed consent, access to the development of renewable energies in keeping with our self and free determination. Based on these actions, we propose protecting more lands, resources, and indigenous territories, contributing to the biocultural diversity, to carbon, and reducing carbon emissions, protecting the means of traditional livelihood of the indigenous people, food sovereignty, hot water sovereignty, and cultural transmission, supporting indigenous peoples to be resilient, producing climate solutions which are effective using system and knowledges from the indigenous peoples' know-how, as well as scientific knowledge. But that's not enough. We need to effectively implement the Declaration of the United Nations with full participation and contribution of indigenous peoples in other climate actions and strengthening specific national contributions. Independent support for our meetings, world meetings, regional meetings, and national meetings. Access to information which is relevant and broken down. And most especially, a strong commitment to maintain global warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius. Actions, territories, rivers, and oceans of the indigenous peoples will all benefit all benefit each of your nations. There's no time left. We must make a pact for life and for our future. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Katan.